What's up everybody, how you doing here? My name is Kenny and you're watching Cavs Magazine. We're going to watch my process of like editing these photos for a model, for a portfolio. And um, I just want to show you my process, how I do things in Lightroom. You can follow along my process and everything like that and just learn a couple of things. Um, let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, so here I am in Lightroom. I already got my images loaded in. Uh, you can see right here. Uh, in my library panel right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit to see these images. And how we zoom in is by hitting that development module right here. And we can see the images one by one. As you can see this first image right here is a little dark. Um, I don't like the way that looks so I'm just going to go ahead and hit X on my um, keyboard to go ahead and reject that image because I don't like it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the right hand keyboard to go to the next picture. A little dark because I'm just working with the um, exposure on the camera to see how I can um, lighten the pictures up. They'll get better. Nope, don't like those. Okay, so as you can see the image is now a little better now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go through these and see which ones I like by hitting the X and um, getting rid of those ones I don't like. So let's see here. Those are not too bad. And what you see right here is this um, little red spot right here that shows you that it's overexposed. And uh, we can darken that down by turning the exposure down a little bit, maybe getting rid of the highlights. And now take away that you know red spot because it's showing that it's too exposed and it doesn't have all those um, exposure details into the image. So you want to go ahead and show as much detail as you can. Um, that looks like a pretty good shot. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go with that one. Um, let's go to our next one. That looks good. Well, I don't like the way how her eyes are like closed almost, make her look sleepy. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit X on that one and reject. I'm just looking to see how things are turning out, make sure everything looks good there. Alright, alright. Looks good. Alright here. Got the earrings. Okay. Just looking to see how, let's see how we zoom in, see if we like that. Mm. I'll pass. Looks okay. We definitely want to see the model's face. It looked like she was uh, trying to get in the pose. And um, move that out of the way. Just going through here to see what looks nice. You know what? I don't like that one, but I do like this one. No. Nope. 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 No. Nope. 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 Looks a little. No. Take that away. Take that away. Take that away. I'm just trying to um, find some good images that might work for her portfolio and everything like that and um, place them into her portfolio. Um, no. Looks creepy. 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 Hair in the way. Nope. Now here's one of my favorite shots. I think this looks pretty cool. You know, we got the hand going on. It's like the, the best exposure for that picture right there. You can see the eye almost in the face. The hair is just blotted out. But let's get rid of that one. Keep that one. It looks cool. Get rid of that one. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. But 
the casing, her face overexposed, overexposed. Oh, that's alright. Looks okay. Nope. Nope. Mm, we'll pass on that. Nope. We'll pass. Nope. Too squinty. Mm -hmm. Could work with something like that. That looks pretty good. I like that. Looks great. Nope. Looks good. Looks good. We possibly use some of these images right here. Uh, let's see here. I don't think I like the whole standing by yourself in the alley. Looks pretty decent. Looks like that. Nope. 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 That looks decent. I like this one better. To plain. I can move a little bit. No. No. I like this better one. This one looks nice. And uh, yeah, so that includes the whole library. And um, let's go ahead and take out the ones we don't want by filtering in all the X's and hitting the delete key button and removing it from disk because we don't want those images and we get rid of those so here we are with the editing part um, we're going to go into the development part and I'm going to go ahead and do some highlights and uh, contrasts of the images and everything like that to make sure everything is in place and uh, maybe a little color correction maybe who knows Alright, um, so those are all out of the system and we're going to go ahead and take that off. So all together we have about 49 images that looks pleasable. So let's go into our development module and see how we can edit these photos. Alright, so since we got this like white um, sidewalk right here, we can take our eyedropper and see what the color temperature is and get the right color temperature you can see the bricks um, kind of brighten up there uh, you can see our before and after the color temperature looks about right let's see if I was to play around with that let me bring it on right there the picture is well exposed Maybe we no let's tad bit let's see what the contrast looks like. It's a lot of contrast, a little contrast. That's a little contrast maybe work. Highlights, we got a lot of highlights, so dull down on the highlights. Shadows, let's see if we can bring some shadow in there. White. And the blanks. And as you can see, as I bring it down here, you see it starts to get blue, and that shows you that it's losing detail. We don't want to lose detail, so right about there. Um, 
the clarity of it is really sharp, so I don't think we need to mess with that. So just leave that at zero. We don't want to bring the vibrant one because that'll change the color of the skin almost. So you can see how the bricks are getting like you know orange and stuff like that. We don't want too much vibrant on there. Five saturation makes it a little more orange, but we don't want to make it orange, so we're gonna leave that at zero. All right, so we go down to our hues and colors. Um, let's click this right here, and what this does is um, we can choose a sample of the color and we can brighten that up if we like or darken it without affecting our subject. Let me choose our colors right here and give her a little highlight. We can brighten up the skin. That brightens up the brick as well. Oh, okay. And we can add more engagement by adding maybe like effects and stuff like that and giving that little dark layer there, but we don't need to do that. That's if the client wants you to do that. So we'll leave it at that and the picture looks great make sure we have these clicked on make sure our um, image is properly corrected if we were to crop this I'm just going to see let's do a See what a four by five looks. Is that engaging? It looks kind of engaging. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Anyway. I don't know. Let me see. Let me go to one one. No. Let's go back to original. Yeah. Let's just leave it like that. Leave it original. No crop. Okay. Cool. So. Right now we are done with the image right here. I just want to zoom in and see if we have anything that we want to get out of the images. First of all, we're just going to choose top five. Five, maybe five to six images of this one um, outfit right here. And we got other images as well we're going to put into the portfolio. So I'm going to zoom out there and I um, just want to make sure everything is like color corrected and everything like that and uh, properly exposed and um, once we do that with all the pictures we can just choose our top six whatnot and place it into her portfolio okay because we have other pictures that I took and um, we're going to place it into her portfolio as well so um, not all the images are going into the portfolio so um, I'll send her the images that she wants and everything like that for her portfolio and uh, we'll go from there. And that's how we dull down the image and the quality of work and everything like that. Alright, so we're back here in Lightroom and we can go ahead and copy what we done. All the work we did, we can go ahead and copy, make sure that all the stuff that we did, uh, copy over to our next image. So we hit copy, and uh, just to see what it looks like when this one, by pasting it, it looks pretty good. So, you know, it's more lively, like, you know, color pop out a little more. And um, you don't necessarily have to do it for all, I just want to see what it looks like for an image like this, where you have the background. Um, what that will look like and as you can see we're losing detail in the back so kind of want to darken that down a little bit right about there that looks pretty good um, let's see bring the highlights shadow 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 shadows maybe a little black black okay so as you see, I'm just going through here, make sure that that one got a taste of what I had back in the previous one. Copy this one, because we can always go back to the images that we like and add that effect onto the other images. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and paste that and see what that looks like. Nice. Okay, nice. Okay. Nice. Alright, so you necessarily don't have to go by one by one, hit and paste and everything like that. You can go ahead and zoom, go to your library. We're on this image, we go to seven. I see that all the way up to um, this one. We're going to hold shift to select all those and uh, right click, go into development settings and post settings. And you can see that the effect is applying to those images. So let's go ahead and take a look what we have right here. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, cool. Let's see if we can apply that effect here, but it brings it a little dark. So we're not going to mess with those yet. We're just going to go over here, apply it over here. Nice. And I just want to see what it looks like in the blur photos. Like we have her with the finger out and blurred. Nice. But I feel like it needs to be a little lighter. Alright. Looks good. Looks good. Let's see what that looks like on here. Interesting. Very interesting. Maybe mess around with the clarity. No, I like it the way it was. So it's it's all about you know personal choice and how you like it. Um, so we got that. We don't have it like this one. You know, I don't know if I like that one. That one looks a little whatever. I'm just gonna hit X on that one for a reject, because we don't want that one. And so we don't want that one. Go ahead and remove it. No, it's removed. Looks great. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. I mean, I'm looking right here, the image right here looks great, so. Looks great, so I'm just going to apply that effect across the, these uh, five images right here. Then we're going to right click and develop and settings, pulse. Start editing them all with the right settings I like. Great. Awesome. Alright, let's see what we can do with this one. No, we're not going to add that effect, so we're going to Command Z that one. And I see we have a photo right over here that needs to be um, edited over here, so let's bring the highlights up here. A little bit of the highlights. Okay. Blacks. Okay. Well, looks good. Looks good. Looks good. All right, let's go back to our image right here. So, take our white tool right here. See what we can do. What whites can we pick out from here? Um, there's a tad bit of white right here. We'll try to select that. See what that looks like. It didn't really do too much. We can make it look cool or warm. It looks about right. It looks about okay. I like the images to be like, you know, kind of almost overexposed, but not too exposed. Yes. Try to get the feel of the image. Bring those um, colors up and everything. Not too much white. Got a lot of the black inside there. Yep, that's all. I kind of like this one right here. We're going to see 
what we can do with the colors back here. Break it down. Let's see what we can do here in this black. It's only like affecting the background. So skin color. Bring it down. And that looks about right. the image is exposed right and correct it um do we have any days in there let's see no we don't so let's go ahead and bring that back to zero hit enter all right so like we did for this picture we can copy those settings over to these so they're almost the exact same. Let's see if we can do with that. No. Um, we're gonna head take some color, probably from here. Copy that, and see what we can do with this. I'm going to have to work with this one. So let's go back to our original image. Grab a sample tool. A little too cool. Warm it up a little bit. Turn the exposure down a little bit. Just a tad bit there. Highlights down. looks about right so let's go ahead and copy that select those post over looks good looks good looks great looks good nice do we have one outside I'm gonna brighten that up a little bit a little bit bring up the highlights a little bit exposure contrast a little bit same thing from here We have this white wall right here. And I like it like that. We copy that settings and add it for the rest of the photos right here. <clears throat> right click, develop, post. Maybe we can darken this a little bit. a little bit better. There we go. Yes. Looks great. Better. Undo. Undo. Alright, so we're done editing those parts right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, pictures one by one. Uh, go to view and where are we? Show, 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 show. Hold 
on for me one second just have to find that one full screen have our images placed here and we'll just look at them one by one see what we like they look great for our portfolio so we got everything looking great some of these look a little plain right here um, might have to get rid of some of these right here but you know it's all to the client see if they like it and we'll add it to there so this shot looks great looks focused and everything like that and basically just go ahead and save preview file and um, send it to the client alright so that looks great we got about 48 images here and we're just gonna go ahead and select them all for preview go export and we're gonna just go ahead and rename this portfolio We don't want them all in uppercases. Alright. I want one image. I like the resolution to be 300, but I'm going to send it over the computer so they can see it. Send me two will be your standard reason size here. And you can put a watermark on it. loading up in here. Hold on for me one second. So preview. I kinda like to do it at an angle. just leave it at that All right and you can go ahead and save the preset to whatever Call it preview hit create and that just saves the little, little watermark copy right there do nothing so we also want to make that into a smaller size as a JPEG a quality Seventy. Okay, seventy-two. And let's keep the inches three hundred per square inch. And we're gonna go ahead and export that over to our file. And uh, I keep my own little desktop client folder. new folder call it preview for the client alright once that is created find it select it and your images are exporting and basically that's my process of like you know editing photos and everything like that talking to the client showing them exactly what the images are and uh, having them choose about six images so we can place them in their portfolio this is part two of the video uh, we're going to part three where we go ahead and put the images into a document together and create a portfolio for the model alright thank you for watching Cas Magazine and you guys take it easy thank you